Hi STAT students. In this video I am going to show you how we can take the data that was presented on page 8 in our textbook about the social interactions of introductory psychology students and create use SPSS to create a frequency table that will look somewhat similar to page 9 but it'll be more like the one that's at the end of the chapter where it says using SS SPSS files. So as you can see I went ahead and changed the name of my um, column to social interactions which that's one of the things you'll notice with SPSS it doesn't like spaces and your column names cannot be too long so I had to abbreviate it there but now what I'm going to be able to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and then I'm going to go ahead and go up to analyze and what I'm looking for here is descriptive statistics and I'm looking for frequencies I want to see how many people scored say a 45 how many scored a 9 etc so all I need to do is go over here to frequencies and click on it and you'll notice that my variable is over on the right hand side that's because I was practicing it's probably going to be on the left hand side and then you'll have to click on this to make it over put it over into the right hand side with a for a variable so after I've got that all I need to do is hit OK and voila there is my frequency table which you can see that there are 94 pieces of data which was what um, we were told on page 8 and what we get is a not only the frequency count we get the percentage represented by each of the interaction links and then also we get the cumulative percent of the frequency which you can see down here that they're going to all end up at 100. I hope this helps you. Um, again, I would like for you to take some time and do some of the practice exercises at the end of the chapter using SPSS if you have time. Thanks for watching.